My name is Mike Carney, uh, grew up in Squamish, still live here. My name is Alicia Klein, I'm from Squamish, British Columbia. A member of the Calgary 88 Olympics. I have been racing ski cross since 99. My name is Michelle Bartleman, I live in Squamish, BC, and I'm a skeleton athlete training for the 2014 Olympics. Owen Carney, I've been the Alpine chairman of the Weasel Workers for the last uh, 28, 29 years. A lot of my snowboard teammates from half pipe and board across live in Squamish. And there's a bunch of skiers and cross-country skiers. Having the Olympics come to Vancouver, Whistler, and the Squamish area is going to be amazing. The Olympic venues are all around us, and you see the preparations for the Olympics going on every day. This year with the Olympics, we're going to have around 1,400 volunteers. It's the biggest uh, volunteer group of all the venues. Well, 2010 is, isn't even a goal for me, and still people pay attention to what I'm doing. It's, it's everywhere, and everyone's talking about it, and the energy is just building up like crazy. As an athlete, I think it's bringing a lot of attention to the area and the fact that we have world-class everything. Billions of people around the world are going to be looking at our little neck of the woods, and I think it's going to get discovered. It's really nice to live in a community that um, appreciates athletes and appreciates what they're doing. I'm still really new in the sport. My goal is still way out and it's bringing attention to people in the community that I live here and I train here. I'm really uh, pleased and proud to be a part of the Olympics at home. You know, Squamish, Whistler, we're such a small community. It's going to be, I think it's going to be amazing for the kids. Uh, having, I mean, world-class venues in your backyard, I think influences kids a lot. I mean, there's Olympians in our town and they're going to see them, they're going to be able to touch them and know that one day if that's what they care to be, that's going to be an option for them. Building up to the Olympics and then after the Olympics, people, this is where people are going to want to come. It's going to be amazing, you know, the legacy that, that the Olympics is going to leave. Having the facilities built and left behind after the Olympics comes and goes are going to be a huge benefit to future athletes. So I couldn't be in a better place. I think it'll give us competitive Olympic teams for years to come. No, you kind of get goosebumps every time you think about it. <laughs>